Hi guys, it's me again and welcome again to my channel. Today I have another magical unboxing uh, for you guys because look what came in the mail. Uh, my first cauldron crate ever uh, and to top it off it wasn't one box but two boxes uh, because I also ordered some extra items uh, that were in the shop uh, so not all fitted into one box. So yeah, we have a lot to unpack. But first of all, uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. Don't forget to click the magical subscribe button and on that way you'll never miss another video of me again. But for now, let's dive into the box. So as usual, I uh, like to get to tell you guys a bit more about uh, the box. Uh, Cauldron Cray is a bi-monthly box um, based in the UK uh, and it's based on Harry Potter. Uh, it's filled with goodies, so no books. Uh, this one I think is the chest of the half blood prince because she did boxes of every book. So I'm quite curious to see what she's going to do after the Deadly Hallows. Um, as I said, I got the chest of the half blood prince um, filled with goodies and then a few uh, items that I uh, ordered extra. Um, the chest I got is just the regular chest because there's also a special edition, I think it's called, or yeah, just a special box uh, which has uh, a bit more goodies in them. Unfortunately, unfortunately I was uh, too late to order that one because otherwise I would have, of course, as the Potter head I am. Um, so I'm silently hoping, fingers crossed, uh, that the goodies that aren't in my box but were in the super size box uh, will appear in the shop so I can order them afterwards. Um, but that's, <laughs> that's the info about the box basically. Um, who else is curious about the chest of the half blood prince because I know I am. So I'm gonna give you guys a little sneaky peek. When we open the box, we whoops, see immediately the spoiler part. Let's put that quickly aside. And then red tissue paper, which I love because I'm a Gryffindor, of course. And then we open the box and look at all those packages. Oh, wow. The thing I already love is the fact that every single item is like packaged like it's a parcel. Uh, I can totally see Hedwig, you know, fly through the window of the Great Hall with all the packages in uh, in her paws or something. So yeah, I, I already love it. Plus it's extra fun to uh, unpack everything. So I'm really curious. Um, what first? Hmm. All those decisions. Let's you know what? Let's go for the biggest one first, which is this. Um, I oh, it smells nice, and it feels like a bottle, and it has a label, and it says, "Dearest Dumbledore, I do hope that this will still that this is still your favorite Tippold, trip of Tippold." Merry Christmas, my old friend, Horace. Wait, 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 wait. Could this be the meat that was poisoned? It doesn't smell like poisoned meat because it really smells, it sm smells, it smells really good. It smells sweet. Okay, let's, let's, let's just open it. Get rid of the label. Well, not rid of it, because I'm probably going to keep it, but still. Paper back aside. Oh, the bubble wrap. Oh. It is the poison meat! Oh my god, look how gorgeous! Ooh, and there is the liquid inside is like ooh. okay so on the front we have like a ribbon with a wax seal and it says the three broomsticks which is of course 
no surprise because um, on the label it says Madame Rose Murta's finest oak matured meat from the three broomsticks. Oh, and I'm, I'm seeing that. So the top is sealed, so I think you can open it. Though the... Could it be something to drink or just for display purposes? It really smells good, so yeah, we'll see on the spoil sheet, but really great start. This looks so beautiful. Yeah, I'm already a fan. Next up, um, let's go for this package. I'm not gonna open it because it's a coffee, which is really fun because um, as you probably heard in my previous uh, videos, I don't like tea. I, uh, the only thing I like to drink in that has tea in the world is iced tea. Uh, the Lipton kind, by the way, not the, just, so, uh, the soft drink. Um, but tea in general is not my thing. But I do like coffee and this is um, called Amortensia, so it's the, the love potion. Uh, it's flavored coffee and it has to uh, taste like chocolate and raspberry. I can't, I can't smell it through the package and I'm not gonna open it because then there will be coffee everywhere, I know myself, but I'm really looking forward to taste this and I think uh, my mom likes coffee too, so uh, maybe we can do a Harry Potter tasting. Yeah, really cool. And it's a nice um, change from all the tea that I get in boxes, so... I usually give those to my uh, cousin who really loves tea and also Harry Potter, so that's always a plus. But still, I love coffee. Um, I think we're up to the next package. Let's see... This one is a little cute parcel. It's flat, so I'm curious what it's going to be. Another twine. And then we have the cardboard. Oops! <laughs> okay, this is cute because I'm also into wood burning. Or at least I'm going to be because I bought me a set. I uh, bought myself a set, but I still have to, you know, try it out and everything. But this is a coaster-like or ornament-like. Um, yeah, it's it's basically wood. It's uh, and on it is like a heart. The the ones you uh, usually young couples you know craft in in uh, in trees in the forest. And it says R plus L. So I think that is going to be a uh, representing of uh, Ron and Lavender Brown. Personally, I would have loved R plus H instead because. Uh, Ron and Hermione are just so cute together. Um, but okay, it's lavender. I can still, you know, try to make an H of it, I'll see. But yeah, it's really cute. Though it's lavender brown and not Hermione, but still. <laughs> it's also nice that, to get something in the box that, you know, is made with... Um, it's an item that, that isn't obvious. It has... Uh, there has been put thought in and also effort in, so that's that's something I really like. Next, Ooh, we have a pin. Yes, we have a pin. I love pins. And it is, if I'm not mistaken, look, instant darkness powder. We're importing it from Peru. Handy if you want to make a quick escape. So it is a Peruvian I think, yes. A Peruvian instant darkness powder stone. Really cool. As I said, I, uh, I've i been collecting pins for a short while now and I just love Harry Potter pins. Uh, hint, because I ordered extra pins too, so but you'll see those one later. Um, but yeah, really cute pin and of course the uh, Peruvian darkness powder instant darkness powder is introduced in the half blood prints so yeah cool what else do we have oh i see a tiny pink burlap sack now i admit pink is one of my favorite colors but in the harry potter books 
and movies. Pink is usually not something happy. <laughs> it reminds me of the sweaters of Umbridge somehow, but we'll see, we'll see. You never know. If I get it open, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not Umbridge, it's way cuter. It's a metal bookmark with a tiny love potion on top hanging from it. Again, it says Amritensia like on our coffee. And it's... Oh, that's a metal bookmark. This is so cute! Yeah, this is one of my favorite bookmarks ever. And the inside of uh, the tiny bottle is filled with um, like really, really tiny beads in red and pink. So yeah, really cool item. I love bookmarks and if it's something special like that, it's extra fun, so yeah. Guys, this, this box is amazing already. <laughs> I'm, I haven't reached the bottom yet. Because there still are some packages. Look at this. It's a green one and it's like cylinder roundish. So I think maybe it's a candle. Oh yes, it is a candle. A bright orange one. And it says lucky pumpkin juice with a bit of luck, with a hint of luck. Look how cute the label is. Again, a uh, cauldron craze sticker is on top. Ooh, it smells really nice. And the inside is also cute because it has like gold and glitter and a little uh, pumpkin that is gold painted. Now I'm thinking, isn't this, could this be a nod to the scene where Harry um, is, well, he, he, he says to Hermione and to Ron that he puts uh, the liquid luck in Ron's pumpkin juice to help him with uh, the uh, Quidditch training, uh, the Quidditch tryouts actually. Um, but he just pretends he puts the liquid luck in it because he doesn't he he doesn't pour the liquid luck into Ron's pumpkin juice. But still, that would be cool if, if that was the nod because that's a scene some people forget. Yeah cool <laughs> then there is one more package before we go to the bottom of the box where a few other items are left see if i can get the twine out of the way then the paper Ooh, i hear something rattling Ooh, nice <gasps> could this be Oh my god, it are puking pastels from Wizard Wizard Weasley's Weezes. Yeah, the, the joke shops from the twins. I, I always mess up that name. But look how cute! It has it has puking pastels inside. And oh, the bottle is such be so beautiful. And then the label and on top the wax seal with the W. Ah, so cool. And I even think those are candies inside because there is an extra bag of three puking pastels, so I think I'm gonna try these out with my brother. My brother also loves candy, so yeah. See if it really are puking pastels, but I hope not. <laughs> Next, we have this little uh, red bag with stickers in it, because uh, Cauldron Crate always... Um, design stickers to put in every box. Let's see what we have. We have a Make Love Not Horcruxes. We have Harry Potter with his Lumos spell. We have Severus Snape, of course, the true Half-Blood Prince. We have the Locket from uh, Salazar Slytherin, I think it is. Uh, the one that Regulus switches out for a, a fake horcrux. Then we have Harry Potter, the logo basically from the movie franchise. And then we have Dumbledore from the movies. Really cool. I always love to get stickers, um, especially since I got this book trolley where I uh, put all my notebooks in. 
so I can uh, purify it. Yeah, really cool. And then we get to the bottom of the uh, box and I think uh, because when you order Cauldron Crate uh, you also have to um, let them know which house you're in and this is the house specified item I guess because I'm a Gryffindor and this is a Gryffindor banner which is perfect because I was still looking for a pin banner for uh, to put my uh, Harry Potter pins on so now I can you know decorate them probably not on the line because I like the side of the line but on the side and so it says in the um, how do you call it in English the ribbon uh, bravery which is like the one of um, the main uh, characteristics of a Gryffindor, but I think everyone can be brave, even if you're a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw or a Slytherin. So yeah, the bravery is our main treat, I think. So <laughs> really cool. Okay, now we have some paper replicas left on the bottom of the box. This ooh, this is a beautiful purple uh, envelope. Purple is next to pink, my other favorite color, by the way. And on the back it says a minute's theory of magic a stamp. And it says Miss Hermione Granger, the burrow, Authory St. Catchpole Davin. It has a confidential stamp. Ooh. Oh, I love paper. I start to like paper replicas a lot. So this is, I think... Yes, it are Hermione's owl results and it's the official Ministry of Magic um, document. So she has outstandings in everything uh, except for defense against the dark arts that she has and exceeds expectations. And it even has a wax, golden wax seal on the bottom of the Ministry of Magic. So cool, it's so fun to display this. Yeah. Totally love this. And then we have a brown envelope with the Cauldron Crate sticker. So let's see what this is about. Oh, it are bonus items. As an apology for the delay and, the spread, and to spread a little happiness in these dark times, I have included these two extra items in the chest themed after the Hovler Prince himself. And joy. Ooh, it's Snape, it's Snape themed, I think. Yes, there are Snape themed. So the extra are, you dare use my own spells against me, Potter. It was I who invented them, the Half-Blood Prince, with um, the advanced potion making copy on the side. And then there's also an uh, art print, postcard art print, from a uh, young Snape. Really cool design and I, uh, I find it really, uh, really sweet of um, the owner of the box that she put these extra in as an apology for, you know, the uh, delays which we all understand because you know it's it are crazy times lately but thank you so much because I really like them even though Snape isn't one of my favorite characters but still really cool and then I think we have the last one yes it's a green envelope with my name on it my full name which isn't a surprise I think because when you order, uh, as I said, when you order uh, the box, you have to uh, let them know which house you belong into. But you also have to put in your name because there will all, there uh, would be a personalized item inside. So I think this is that one. And the back has a wax seal with an S on it. Now I'm thinking, Healthy Prince S. Could it be a dark green? That can only be Slughorn's club, right? The Slug Club. <gasps> yes! Megan Bakke. 
In light of your promising, promising achievements, I am extending you an invitation to join my select group of students known as the Slug Club. I would be delighted if you could join me for a bite of lunch in my carriage. This is a truly exclusive opportunity and I do hope I see you there. Sincerely, Professor H.E.F. Slughorn. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's printed in gold foil and the top starts with my name. Oh, this is so cool. Yes, yes, I'm going to grab a bite with uh, Slughorn. I'll be back in like five minutes or something. Yeah, bye. <laughs> This is going to get a nice place on my shelves, definitely. Okay, so that was the chest of the humble prince. Um, but as I said before, I also ordered some um, extra items. So I also ordered some extra items. Um, I'll start maybe with this little package. Um, which, as I already hinted, uh, what it contains. Um, in every um, previous box uh, of the Cauldron Crate book box, uh, boxes that are based on the books of Harry Potter, uh, there is an exclusive pin, like the um, Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder in this one. And in the previous boxes, they were already sold out, so I couldn't uh, order them afterwards. Uh, but I could order uh, the pins that were in them. And uh, along with some other pins that were, you know, uh, inside the boxes. And the first one I got is a Christmas at Hogwarts, which is a uh, snow globe with Hogwarts inside of it. Uh, then we also have uh, the Gryffindor prefect pin and uh, this one is from uh, one of the book boxes I know, uh, from the books the, the boxes that are um, based on the Harry Potter books because this is a uh, Marauders map uh, one uh, which says mischief managed and has the paw prints of every Marauder on it and it's like really glittery Purple, so yeah, those I just had to have. And uh, then there's also um, one item that I just adored when I saw it in the box. Uh, it comes in this, and this is actually the second part of it because it's an item in two pieces, I guess you can say. Um, this one is. I said before, I don't drink tea, but on occasion, I do fall in love with teacups. And this particular teacup is very special because it has the grim inside from uh, the Venetian's class when uh, Hermione sees the grim. Uh, extra cool. When I open up the other parcel, there inside, so you that was the cup, but you can't have a cup without a saucer. So, if I can open it up without breaking it, here we have it. And the saucer has the quote from Trilwani. My dear, you have the Grim, which is like this. Yes. I so, so adore this. <laughs> Even though I don't drink tea, this is pure for display purposes. I just, oh, it's so gorgeous. I love it. But that were my... Um, extra items I ordered. As you see, I didn't go over the top yet, but still. So, um, now that we covered the extra items, let's take a look at the spoiler sheet, the one I threw away when we opened the box. Um, the chest of the Hofblad Prince. 
I hope you have enjoyed unboxing the sixth installment of the book series of chests. Don't forget to tag me in your unboxing photos. I sure will do that. Um, so the first one was the poisoned meat right here. And it is, oh, it's liquid soap. Okay. Now I have to really be careful because um, my brother loves liquid soap. But I don't want him to ruin the bottle, so yeah, I'll, I'll see how that plays out, but still, I don't think you will get it, but still. It's a fun and usable item inspired by the infamous poisoned oak matured meat that Slughorn intended to give to Dumbledore for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this licorice and cherry scented liquid soap. Oh, so that's what was I smelling. Huh, licorice and cherry, okay. You can even display the bottle after you are done. When left to settle, the oils separate, giving a beer meat-like appearance. This is intentional. Please mix intentional. Please mix thoroughly. Thoroughly. Uh, my English is starting to decrease. Um, before use, ingredients are castle soap base, fragrance oil, distilled water, plants, and yeah, coconut oil and such. Cool. Yeah, I think this is one actually of my favorite items and I, yeah, no, I, my brother won't, won't get, be using this. This is pure for uh, in display, yeah, display, forget using soap, he has enough soap. <laughs> then the uh, second item are the owl results, this one, yes, the owl results from... Um, Hermione. Yep, nine outstandings and one exceeds expectation in defense against dark arts. He looked down at her, half amused, half exasperated. You're actually disappointed, are you? Feel like the cleverest witch of your age with this handcraft exams result replica. Yeah, I. as far as paper replicas go, this is great quality and um, yeah, truly love it. Can't wait to uh, display it somewhere so everyone can see Hermione was the smartest witch of her age. Then we have uh, the book's six sticker sets. The personal invitation to the Slughorn Club. Also love this one. Uh, where were we? The Puking Pestiles replica. Is Let's see, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this handmade replica sweet jar containing edible puking pastels. Extra sweets have been provided in case you would like to keep it intact to display. I love it when they, when they know me so well. Um, and then there is, so yeah, so it's flavored sweets um, from Barrett's and it's orange and passion fruit. Okay, so the extra ones will be eaten by me and my brother. Um, then we have the house pin banner, uh, the love potion coffee that was here. I'm going to try this one out with my mom. Uh, then the Peruvian darkness pin, the cute mini potion bookmark, uh, the lucky Pumpkin juice candle and the Ron and Lavender coaster or ornaments. And this was handmade by uh, the owner of uh, the box, so yeah, really cool. I don't know about you guys, but um, I really love this box and I can't wait for uh, Deadly Hallows and to see what she has planned for that. Picking a favorite item from this box is so difficult and I'm not even gonna try because I basically loved everything, even the coaster with Ron and Lavender, which says a lot. Um, but please let me know what you guys thought of this amazing box. What was your favorite item? Was, was your least favorite item? Was there something you missed in this box? Just let me know. Um, don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram uh, where you'll probably see a lot of pictures with these items popping up. 
Uh, and there will also be a blog post on my blog in both Dutch and English about the unboxing and stuff. Um, but that's basically all I can say about this box because all I want to do is now, you know, go take pictures and display everything and Harry Potter, Harry Potter, magic, magic, I love it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, hopefully I see you guys soon for another video. Bye!